He, his name has been brought up several times tonight. Praise God. He was known as Saul of Tarsus, a religious leader, one of the greatest teachers. But then when he got on the Damascus Road, amen to God, he had a life-changing encounter with the King of Kings. Amen. 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 And we find him here in this 18th chapter. He's on his second missionary journey, arriving from Athens to Corinth. Amen to God. And he's like in a downward time in his life right now. 1 Corinthians 2 3 says, and I, and I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. Amen to God. Paul was tired. He was, amen to God, he felt alone. Amen to God. This was Paul. Paul wasn't, praise God, supernatural or some great thing. I mean, you know, he knew he had to trust in Jesus. Amen to God. That's where his strength came from. His help came from the Lord. Amen. He was a tent maker by trade, amen to God. When he wasn't preaching, he was working as a tent maker to make ends meet, amen? amen. It says he was stressed at pressed in spirit, verse 5 says. He was just wore out spiritually, amen? He felt like he wasn't a success. He felt like he was a failure. He felt like he didn't succeed in Athens, amen to God. He just felt like giving up, but thank God he didn't, hallelujah. He was frustrated, amen to God. He felt unappreciated. How many has ever been unappreciated before? Amen. Praise God. Nobody don't tell you thank you for what you do. Amen to God. And we're not in it to be glorified. But it sure does help when somebody says, Hey, I appreciate what you did. Amen to God. I appreciate you standing in the gap for me so I didn't die. Praise God. When somebody was out there trying to kill me. I appreciate you, praise God, taking the time to answer my text messages. You can amen that, Brother Billy. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. I appreciate, I know personally, I appreciate Brother Billy and Brother Bray. I know I text them all to death. I text everybody. Praise God. But I use text messaging for Jesus. Amen to God. Use all things for the glory to God. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Because I tell you, there's sometimes you can't talk to people, but you can text them and reach them. Amen. So that's why I tell people now, you can either write me, you can email me, you can call me, you can text message me, and more people text message than they do the other three, amen to God. So that's fine, praise God. Thank God for those unlimited text messaging plans, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Wouldn't want to be without that, that would be rough. But these are just some of the folks, praise God, in Scripture, and there's a lot more. But these are just a few, though, to hit at, to show you that, praise God, people that are called of God do get worn down. They do get tired. But we've got somebody we can run to, and that's Jesus. Amen to God. Amen. And the thing is, I want if you don't hear nothing else I say now, I want you to hear this. Don't ever get to the point where you get so low that you don't cry out or reach out for somebody to help you. Amen. Because you can get so far to the point. It's like when you go out to the ocean. When we went on a vacation and stuff and we went out to the ocean, they said don't go out so far because if you do, it would pull you out and you couldn't get back. Amen to God. And you don't want to get that way in the spirit. Amen to God. You don't want to get so far out that somebody can't be there and help you back. Amen. You want, praise God, to be close to somebody. You, you need to, I believe that's why Jesus sent them out by two. Because when one got down, there was one there to lift them back up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't do this all by yourself. You need other people to help you. Praise God. You need your brothers and sisters in the Lord. We try and be the one man show and reach out and touch somebody. Amen. Amen. Is that good preaching? Would that preach? Amen to God. Amen. That's good. Hallelujah. God has promised you several things. He's promised you His presence. Praise God. He says in Hebrews thirteen five at the last part. He says, "I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee." Amen. Praise God. When you feel worn down, tired, want to give up. Quote that verse, praise God. Read it. Let, it. let it get in your spirit that He's not going to leave you or forsake you. That's why when He ascended up, He sent the Holy Ghost down so He could dwell in us. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's God with us. The Bible calls Him Emmanuel. Praise God. He's ever present with us. Amen to God. Closer than the whisper. Amen to God in His name. Hallelujah. Amen. When you're lonely, He's there with you, praise God. When defeat or discouragement, sickness, financial problems, heartache, family problems come, remember that the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. Amen? Amen. How look at your neighbor says, He's still God no matter what. Amen? No matter if they take my home, take everything from me. He's still God. I want to be like Job. Yet though He slay me, yet will I trust Him. Amen to God. Yet though He slay me, church, I will trust Him. Praise Amen. God. No matter what. Because I leave my life in Jesus' hands. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. So you've got God's presence. Amen to God. Let me read this little illustration. We're almost done. I promise. Praise God. I know y'all getting tired of me talking. Hallelujah, God. But I hope this is helping somebody. Because I tell you, this is this has been encouraging to me. Praise God. And I hope it's helping y'all. Amen to God. Hallelujah. I appreciate the kids taking part too. Amen to God. And don't worry about making them be quiet. Let them shout. Amen to God. Because they do more shouting than the adults do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> It said a little boy went home after school, very sad, and told his mom about his, his best friend. He'd been absent from school for three days. When he came back on the fourth day, he'd find out why the boy was absent. The boy told the teacher in the class that his daddy had died. And when he had told them that, he went back to his desk, sat down in his chair, folded his hands, and put his head on the desk. The little boy's mom asked, well, what did you do? The little boy said, well, I didn't really know what to do, so I just laid my head on the desk and I cried too. Aren't you glad Jesus is the same way? That He's touched by the feelings of your infirmities. That He knows, praise God, what you're going through. I mean, other people around may not know it, but Jesus does know it. Because He came down, praise God, in the form of a man. So He could go through the things we go through. So He could know, amen to God, about the, the struggles and the temptations and the things that come at us on a daily basis. So don't say Jesus don't know what you're going through because He does. Amen. That's why He can make it so personal with you, amen to God. Hallelujah. If He wasn't a personal Savior, let me ask you this. Why when Lazarus' his friend died, why did it say Jesus wept? Yeah. He knew he was going to raise Lazarus up. Hallelujah. Yeah. The voice of the resurrection was on his way to perform a miracle. He wasn't late, but he was right on time, Brother Brad. Amen to God. But it said Jesus wept because he loved his friend Lazarus. Yeah. So Jesus knows what you're going through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm so glad about that. He knows what you're going through because he's a personal friend, a personal Savior. Amen. He makes it personal. I'm glad. How many has got a personal relationship with Amen. Jesus? Amen. God. I mean, how many can just talk to Him? Praise God. Amen. God. And He talks back to you. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Praise God. Right. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> so you've got His presence. Amen to God. You've got His protection. Amen to God. Yes. Hallelujah. He promised, amen to God, that nobody, He said, Touch not my prophets, neither do my, amen to God, prophets any harm. Hallelujah. He said, I'll take care of them. I'll protect them, amen to God. I won't leave them out to dry. Yea, though I walk, Psalm 23, 4, through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, praise God, for thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, amen to God. Amen. He's going to be with you no matter what. Yes. So if you die in this life, just going to be with Jesus, amen to God. But He's going to be with you each and every step of the way. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. you got His presence. you got His protection. Amen to God. Hallelujah. God loves you so much. Amen? Come on. And you got God's personal guarantee that He won't let you go. Amen. Oh, glory to God. That ought to get you shouting right there. Amen to God. God has personally said He will take care of you Come if on. you just trust in Him. Amen. Amen. Let's stand to your feet tonight. Praise God. I told you we was all going to God. Hallelujah. God wants to renew you. Praise God. He wants to fill you back up when you're drained. Amen to God. That's why, amen to God, he, he takes such pleasure in restoring back that which was lost. Because if He gives you something, He wants you to spread it out to folks. Amen? So when we as vessels pour out and we say, Lord, refill us back up, He does that, praise God, because He knows we need it. Hallelujah. How many is in here tonight, praise God? And I can, and I can surely say, and I feel in my spirit, that everybody in here is right with the Lord. I pray you are. If not, you can come, praise God, and we can pray with you, amen, to God, and get things right.
But how many tonight has just been battle, just been in battles, praise God, and you and you just wore down. You need a spiritual second wind, so to speak. You need a renewing in your life, praise God. Maybe you've never received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, amen to God, and you need that. I encourage you, if you've never received that, you need it, praise God. You need it, it will give you boldness, it will give you power, it will give you strength, amen to God. No matter, amen to God, when the winds and waves are coming at you. It'll make you to where you just stand there and say, I trust Jesus. Amen. Come on. If you've never received that tonight, come on down. We can pray with you. Praise God. You can have it. You can have it before you leave this place tonight. That's how God, it's a gift. He wants to give it to you. Praise God. Amen. And for those that do have it, but you just drained out, you need prayer. Come on, praise God. Let us pray for one another. That's what the Bible says do. Pray for one another. Bear you one another's burdens. Amen. Amen. God. Let, let's not let. One person, amen to God, have to bear it all on their own. Let's bear one another's burdens and encourage one another. You know, when our brothers weep, let's weep with them, amen to God. When they're rejoicing, let's rejoice with them. Let's not get mad when God blesses them and gives them the answer to their prayer, amen. Oh. But let's get excited with them, amen to God, and glorify Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So how many how many needs prayer tonight? Just for you going through stuff, amen to God, and you're wore down. Hallelujah, God. I'll tell you, I know I do. Amen to God. I get that way. How many else would say they would too? Hallelujah. Why don't everybody just come on down here? Let's just let's just pray. Amen to God.